Hi friends, it is now read aloud time. Take a look at the cover of today's story. What do you see on the cover of today's story? A dinosaur. Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Take a look at its features. What do you see? Take a look at its mouth. What do you notice? Oh my goodness, those teeth are so sharp. And what about those hands? They are so tiny. Do you remember what the name of this dinosaur is called? A T-Rex. And we know that it's a T-Rex because it has tiny arms and those sharp, sharp teeth. What does a T-Rex use their sharp teeth for? Why did they need them? To eat meat. Do you remember what this animal is called that eats meat? Carnivore. Today's story is called Dinosaur Roar. During today's read aloud, we are going to review opposites. Do you remember what opposites are? Opposites are pairs of words that have different meanings, right? They mean something different. So we're going to read Dinosaur Roar, and I want you to help me read. Yeah, that's right. You're going to help me read because you're going to help me read the opposite pairs. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Dinosaur Roar. Dinosaur squeak. What is the opposite of roar? Squeak. Dinosaur fierce. Dinosaur meek. Dinosaur fast. What is the opposite of fast? Dinosaur slow. Dinosaur above. Hmm, do you know the opposite of above? Dinosaur below. Above and below are opposites. Look at that big dinosaur. Dinosaur weak. Dinosaur strong. Can you show me your strong muscles? Weak and strong are opposites. Dinosaur short. Hmm. What is the opposite of short? Or very, very long. Look at those size differences. Dinosaur clean and dinosaur slimy. What's another word we could say for the opposite of clean? If it's not clean, it's dirty or slimy or dusty, right? Those are all different opposites of clean. Dinosaur sweet. Dinosaur grumpy. Can you show me a grumpy face? Oh, do you think that dinosaur looks grumpy? Dinosaur spiky. Dinosaur lumpy. Look at those spikes. Do you remember the name of these spikes? Those are called plates. Do you remember why this dinosaur has plates? To defend itself, right? Because this dinosaur does not have any teeth. All sorts of dinosaurs eating their lunch. Take a look at all those different dinosaurs. Oh my goodness. Gobble, gobble, nibble, nibble, munch, munch, crunch. And look at the last page. All those different colorful dinosaurs. The end. Did you like today's read aloud? This one was so silly and you did a beautiful job reading with me. Can you give yourself a round of applause? Beautiful job. We have a special guest visitor. Are you ready? Okay, are you ready? Put your binoculars on, quick, quick, quick. Hello. Time to the T-Rex is here because he has a challenge for you. Are you ready for a challenge? Touch your head if you're ready. Touch your shoulders if you're ready. Touch your nose if you're ready. And shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Tiny the T-Rex challenges you to put your thinking cap on and think of an opposite pair. So think of two words that have a different meaning and then comment down below so Tiny the T-Rex can learn about some more opposites. Bye, Bumblebees.